Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna take you through my entire wedding editing process from start to finish. Showing you some general specifics that you need to know or that you need to be aware of when you are editing wedding videos, as well as how to deliver the whole wedding video to a client. Now, editing wedding videos is very easy. In fact, it is the simplest of all the edits among the ones that I usually do. After dumping all the footage to a hard drive, the first thing I usually do is to organize the footage according to the different sections of the wedding. So I usually create a folder that I name after the couple, for example, Talent and Ashley Wedding. Inside that folder, I create six more folders according to the different sections of the wedding that I have shot. So the first folder will be the venue where I put all the clips of the venue which I shoot before the guests arrive. More like an introduction part of the wedding. Then I'll create another folder, which is the getting ready folder, where I put all the clips of the couple getting ready for their wedding day. Then the third folder will be the entrance folder where I put all the clips of the entrance. And then I'll create another folder, which is the blessings and the preaching folder where I put all the clips for the sermons and the blessings of the marriage and stuff like that. Then I'll create the fifth folder, which is the reception folder where I put all the activities that has happened at the reception. Then the last folder, the sixth folder, is the music folder where I put all the tracks that were used on that particular wedding, all the music that was used on that particular wedding. I usually get the list from the DJ just after the wedding. After I'm done organizing the footage, I will open Adobe Premiere Pro which is a program that I use for editing, Talent and Ashley Wedding. Once I'm done, I will import all the folders into the project. The first thing I usually edit is a wedding trailer. So I'm gonna edit a trailer video for this example and walk you through some tips and tricks that will help your edits as well. The first thing I usually do is to create a sequence of course and put all the correct settings there. My resolution will be 4K, 1496 by 2116. Then frame rate, I'm gonna put 24 frames per second. Then name of the project, I'm gonna write Talent and Ashley, then press OK. Then I'm gonna come to the project window and open the Getting Ready folder. Select all the clips and drop them on the timeline. Then start from the beginning and go through each and every clip, removing bad clips, and selecting the best clips among the repeated clips. So I'm gonna start with this clip, play it a bit, then somewhere here, press C on the keyboard and cut it here. Then play it a bit again, just somewhere here where it's about to start getting messy, cut that clip and delete the unwanted parts by pressing delete on the keyboard. Then I'll move to the next clip, play it a bit, then somewhere around here, press C on the keyboard again and cut it here, then play it a bit again and move somewhere here. Cut it again and remove all these parts that I've cut out by pressing delete on the keyboard. So I'll continue doing this for the other clips, choosing the best clips only and deleting the clips that may be shaky or maybe I repeated some of those clips and just choosing the best. Once I'm done, the next thing is to look for a nice background music. So on this trailer, I'm gonna use this background music. Let me play it a bit. Mm, this is very sweet. Then mute the original audios from the videos and then drag and drop it on the timeline on a different track. Then I'll start editing my video clips to the background music. I don't just change the clips anyhow or cut the clips anyhow. I edit to music. I arrange my clips according to the flow of the music. So maybe on some kicks, that's where the change of clips happen. Or maybe when I reach a snare of the music or the, the change of the music, that's where my it clips seems like change a long as well. Time when I am with I usually make a trailer a minute long, 
and how I arrange everything is really a matter of personal taste. So when editing, other people can start with the vows or maybe the reception. They start showing the clips of the vows and with the reception, then start showing the preparations here and there. For me, I usually start from the preparations, then pick some of the clips while walking down the aisle, then the vows, then anything else just like that. In the trailer though, I only pick the best clips, clips that have nice movements, nice compositions, clips that have emotions, clips that have actions in them and so on. And I try to fit them in this one minute. So it is just really a clip there, a clip there, and just really try to make this wedding highlights. Once I'm done editing my videos to the background music, then I go through the whole entire edit and add some sound effects. Sometimes I can use the original sounds from the camera, maybe when they were exchanging vows. Sometimes I can make the voice to be heard. You know, just to mix the sounds so that it's not just the clips playing on top of a background music. This will make the trailer more engaging and look more professional. And after that trailer is done, here is how it looks like. In Jesus' name. Forever seems like a long time, but nothing seems like a long time when I am with you. I feel like I'm walking on water. Since the day that I asked your father To let go of his daughter So give me your Now editing other parts of the wedding is very simple. You just cut out clips that are not good and piece the story together from the beginning to the end. Now the next video that I edit after editing a trailer video is a wedding highlights video which is usually a bit long like 6 to 10 minutes where I show what is happening at each different section of the wedding slightly in a detailed way. So on the trailer video, I just use one background music, but when it comes to wedding highlights, I normally use at least two background music, one for the first part of the wedding, which is the marriage blessing, and one for the reception. And just like the way I edit the wedding trailer, that's how I also edit a wedding highlights, just really cutting bad clips and just really showing more details of the wedding. After I'm done with the wedding highlights, then I'll edit the whole entire wedding ceremony. I edit each section of the wedding ceremony separately, like the wedding preparations on its own, walking down the aisle on its own, preaching and blessing of the marriage on its own, and then the reception on its own. And that is how I even deliver them to the client. I just put everything in one folder and deliver them to the client like that, making sure that sound is okay, especially on preaching, exchange of the vows and speeches. Then the picture or the image itself is not shaking, just really mixing different elements of the wedding together according to how the wedding was taking place. No fancy things, just really simple cuts and just removing out bad parts of the wedding or repeated clips of the weddings. Sometimes the receptions or some sections of the weddings are usually very long. It can be two hours, just the reception final edit alone. So what I usually do is to make 30 minutes segments of the reception or any section that is long. Put everything in one folder separately, like the preparations separately, preaching separately, reception in segments separately, and put everything in one folder and send that folder to the client. In case there is some changes or in case the couple wants to change something on their wedding, you don't really need to go through the whole entire wedding video again. For example, if the couple wants to change something, maybe on the reception side, you can just go to that part of the reception and make that change and export that part alone without exporting the entire wedding again. All right, guys, I hope you have learned some techniques, tips and tricks. I'll catch you in the next video. This is it. Peace. I promise to respect you Job respect. and I promise to always put you first in everything that I